Tell me he does not look so comfy. Like the comfiest you could ever be. I would love to be that comfy right now. Hello. Look what I ordered. I got so sucked in, you guys. Have you seen this on TikTok? The Lava Shock. Lava Shock? It's like Persian. It's not candy. It's like sour. She compared it to like fruit roll-ups. Here's the brand. Lava Shock. I got so sucked in, so I ordered like the Lover's Box. So it's like this stuff. It feels like fruit leather, you know. These little things that I already opened and had one end. I think these are like prune flavored, which some people probably would think is nasty. But I love prunes. I'm going to be pooping. Okay, too far, Nicole. Too far, but I probably am going to be pooping. These are really good. Hold on, I'll show you. They're like little... I don't know, and you can like pull them apart. They're so good. They're sour. It's like a sour prune. I like them. That's the only thing I've tried so far. Here's kiwi fruit leather. I don't know what this is. What is that? Not sure. And then this is like some kind of like paste. It's cherry flavored. What is this? Sour cherry? We're gonna have to try this stuff out. And I'm assuming that's prune. You guys, I'm about to be in heaven. Mm. And these, I'm thinking these are prunes in the like sour, oh, what did they say it was? Some kind of molasses. I can't remember what kind. Anyway, we have a lot of shit to try. But I want to wait for Hunter because I think he would like it. Like, what do I even do with this? I don't know. I really wanted the little, they had like roll-ups in this, like syrup. I thought that came in here, but it didn't. And that was like the number one thing that I was excited about. I feel like Hunter would like this stuff. So we're going to try it together. Oh, shit. I'm dumping my prunes everywhere. I guess we could try... I guess we could try one thing. Should we try one of these prunes? Let me get you guys higher so you can actually see my face. Okay. How's that? Terrible. Should we try these? Okay, I should not be doing this on a bed. I'm just gonna open it a little bit. Okay, are these cherries or prunes? I think they're prunes. Look at that. Oh, come on, you gotta focus. I can't put my hand behind the camera. All right, I'm gonna try it. Mmm, there's a pit. Hold on. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna be tooting. Oh, these are really good. Let's have one more. Oh, here's a big boy. Mmm. I gotta get the pit. Go be shitting my pants. <laughs> Alright, I'm not eating any more of those, although I could eat this whole thing. We'll try the fruit leather with Hunter then. I don't know where he's at. Our candle of the day is twisted peppermint. Don't mind all the Hunter shit back there. He's been using this coffee table as his office, pretty much. My first Twisted Peppermint of the year. I returned a few of my winter candles. I'll show you what I got. So I exchanged four of my winter candles because I just feel like I had too many winters. So I got this one for Nick for Christmas, Woodland. It smells really good. 
citrus sage and Virginia cedar. Oh, wow. It's like a sexy man is, what's he doing? He's like, he just got out of the shower. Oh, it smells really good. Nick's going to love that. And then I got this one for the spring, rose water and ivy. Oh, I love the smell of rose. I don't like it as a perfume, but as a candle. Oh, I love it. And then I, oh, I got that twisted peppermint one. And I got another, I don't know what I did with the other one, but I got an iced cedar balsam, iced balsam something. Let me clean up all this shit that I knocked over. Oh my God. All right, let me pick all this shit up and I'll, I'll tell you what happened. So the kids ordered me the Dibs glow stick. So it's like my glow stick, but it's glowy. Glow stick? You know what I mean. It's like my duo. So it's like my Dibs duo, but it's a glowy bronzer and blush. So the box arrived today and I knew what it was. So I handed it to Hunter. I'm like, this is, you know, what you guys ordered me. Emma was the one that ordered it. He's like, that box feels really light. And I'm like, yeah, it kind of does. So we're like shaking it around. And I'm like, all right, we'll just open it and see. Box totally empty. Nothing in it. No tissue paper, nada. Totally empty. Like, uh, I was so excited about that gosh dang glow stick. And now I'm not going to have it. I mean, I'll have it after Christmas. But like, how does one even do that? How does that even happen? I gotta pick up all the shit that I knocked over and now my hand got sticky. What the frick? Like, how do you send a box out empty? It was very obvious it was empty. So like nobody at Dibs was like, you know, this box feel light as a feather. Whatever. It's annoying because I was so excited for that stupid little stick, but it's fine. It's fine, Dibs. Y'all like to do me dirty. I don't know why. Oh, I gotta get back here, but here, I'll show you what I'm attempting to do. I have to get, I gotta get back there because my empties bin is back there, but all, well not all, but a lot of my sunblock fell in there when the stupid light fell over this morning. But I don't think I can get to it. Mm. Oh. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So we have this fell, my first day beauty, my shaken shield. What else fell? Watch, I'm gonna miss something and then I'm gonna end up throwing it away. My LA girl, this is like a blue. It's a blue essentially like foundation that you can mix with your foundation if it's not like neutral or olivey enough but it's very potent. You need like a drop, a baby drop. Oh, I think that's all that, oh, nope. My Shiseido stick, my favorite. This is the best sunscreen stick, the Shiseido one. One of these is fully empty. That one's good. Oh, wait, why? Oh, they're both empty, but there's still a little bit left. Anyway. Do you guys want to do a quick empties? Can I do it like this? Should I sit? I look rough. Can I stand? It'll be fine. All you need to see is the products. Okay, we have Kirkland wipes. One, two, three. These are the same, just like different packaging. Four, five. Then we have Beekman wipes, amazing. I really need to get my ring light down here because this lighting's looking a little wild. I think that might be it for wipes. Nope, we have an Equate rose water, amazing. That might be it for wipes. We're gonna do a speed empties. Get ready. Bust your brass conditioner from Amika. I love this stuff. It's like a deep conditioner. If you have blonde or like highlights like I do, it really does help to tone. It's very good. I'm a fan. This Tropic Low Shave Oil. You know, I've just come to the realization that I'm not a shave oil girly. 
It's just not for me. But it's nice if you like a shave oil. I do not. Uh, Midsummer's Dream from Bath and Body Works. The notes are salted pear, fresh nectarine, seaside lily. Really good. Like a beach in a bottle. I liked it. First Day Beauty Bump Eraser Body Scrub. Um, I love First Day Beauty. This is not one of my favorite things from them. I didn't really notice anything, and I, it just, it wasn't for me. It wasn't my favorite, but I love them. A uh, Batiste Dry Shampoo. It's usually my go-to dry shampoo, but now I've heard that there's, like, bad things in it. Isn't there bad things in everything, though? Uh, Misty Morning from Bath & Body Works. The notes are Lily of the Freaking Valley, my favorite. Green tea and white amber. Wait. Oh. That really does smell good. Oh, there's like a little bit in there. I might squeeze out the rest of what's in there. Nice. Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. This was really good. I let it go too long and then mine went bad. Now I would not use this one daily. I feel like this is like maybe a two, three time a week kind of product. It There's still some in here, but I feel like I let it go bad. So I'm getting rid of it. It's, um... It's thicker. It almost feels like you're putting a mask. It's like a clay mask mixed with a moisture, or not a moisturizer, a face wash. Um, I did like it, and I do regret not using it because now I have to get rid of it, which is sad because it is a good product. I like the Kiehl's Rare Earth line. I have the mask, and it's really good. Amika the Cure Bond Repair Shampoo. I really love this shampoo, but... This lasted me, I swear, like a few washes and it was gone. And Amika is too damn pricey for me to be going through this in like a month, less than a month. And I wash my hair like every five days. Uh-uh, I can't do it. I want to do it, but I can't. Rainbow Waves Body Wash from Bath & Body Works. The notes are Sunny Sangria, Bright Melon, and Misty Waters. This was really good. I liked it. Tree Hut Shea Sugar, wow, Shea Sugar Scrub in Lychee and Plum. Yeah, not my fave. Um, I love the Tree Hut Scrub, but I didn't love the smell. But their scrubs are bomb. Miracle Water from It Cosmetics. This I used about half of, and then I just dumped the rest out. I, I tried. I just didn't see anything happening. So I love a toner. I'm a dirty little whore for a toner, but this is not one of my faves. But I do love me some It Cosmetics. I just don't think this was the one for me. For me, it might be for you. Not Your Mother's Rice Water and Himalayan Moringa Shampoo. I actually really like this one. Would possibly repurchase. It was cheap. It worked well. It did what I needed a shampoo to do and it smelled good. Uh, my favorite deodorant, Old Spice Men's Fiji. It's all I use. I love it so much. I do use different scents. Like I have the bamboo one going right now. I I oh, I love it. Who can be that hooked on a deodorant? Me. Oh, the love of my life. Cosrx Snail Mucin. I'm on my second one. Oh shoot. This stuff is amazing. One of my top three skincare products like I can't I can't go without it don't don't even try to make me because I can't do it so you do your toners then you do the mucin oh my god I love it so much another toner that I freaking love the Aquel 5.5 licorice toner I'm already on my backup it is so good oh it's so good this and a couple other Korean toners and then this oh baby the skin gonna be skinning. I love it. Uh, Fix Plus. I mean, if you're not using Fix Plus, what are you doing with your life? It's so good if you over powder or your skin just looks a little like, oh, I went a little heavy. This, it's magic. It's magic. I love Fix Plus. I have another one going. I've probably been through 20 Fix Pluses in my life. 
my most favorite perfume. I actually have two of them. Uh, Ambery Saffron from Dossier. It's a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. It is all I wear. It's my everyday perfume. Nothing else is in my life. I will not cheat on her. I can't do it. Disco Daydream Body Wash. The notes are Cali Days Wild Vanilla and Radiant Coconut. Mm -hmm. She was bomb. Loved the packaging, like disco-y. It was good. I love Bath & Body Works. I just can't get over it. My favorite body butter of all time, the Tropic Low from Tree Hut. I've been through, y'all know how many of these. Probably 10. I'm going to say 10. There's nothing better. I mainly use it in the summer, but I've been pulling it out even in the winter because I just miss it. I love it so much. I did get the candy cane one, but it's not my fave. It's a little too sweet. Uh, L'Oreal Air Dry It Wave Swept Spray. Ugh. <laughs> they discontinued this. I managed to find a few on eBay. One of my subscribers sent me a few of them. I'm officially out and I am in mourning. I loved this shit. Why did you get rid of it? It was so cheap. It was the only thing that I could get like a cast on my hair without it weighing it down, making it greasy. This shit was amazing. L'Oreal, I'm begging. I'm begging. Bring it back. Oh my God, I'm so sad about that. Oh, one of my other favorite toners, the rice toner. I get this on Amazon. I'm on to another one. My nighttime skincare routine is when which day did we do that it's during vlogmas you'll see all this stuff in action obsessed obsessed, obsessed. okay i'm done uh another batiste dry shampoo oh i really do miss this Ooh, something is wet love that the paula's choice um two percent bha liquid exfoliant incredible incredible I need to repurchase. I just ran out of my little like trial size one. This shit makes a difference. I'm telling you. I need it. I need it back in my life. Uh, Pharmacy Honey Drop Moisturizer. I had to get rid of this. This thing is so old. But this is a really, really good moisturizer. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It smells good. It feels good. I will probably at some point repurchase this. I love, I love it. Probably my favorite thing from pharmacy. The best texture spray of all time, the Navy Pebble Beach. Beach? <laughs> Do not buy this on Navy's website though because it is $40. Find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I have to track it down. Like I have to go on a hunt but I always manage, knock on wood, I manage to, if there's no wood, I'll use my head. I always manage to find one or two every so often to kind of keep me stocked. It's only $15 at Marshall's or TJ Maxx, like, ugh, and it's so good. I used to use the Orbe texture spray. This is now my fave, which is so good. Oh, another, this is the baby exfoliate. What? The, the Paula's Choice. Oh, Nicole, what's wrong with you? Oh, we have a hand soap in here. Sunrise Woods from BB Dubs. It was good. I don't know why I saved it for an empties, but I did. Uh, the Murad Prebiotic 4-in-1 Multi Cleanser. This was good. I didn't use it all up, and it went bad, so I have to get rid of it. Do I think it's worth the high price tag? Probably not. I like Murad, but they're, like, so expensive. And I'm hooked on my Korean skincare, so we're going to say goodbye to that one. Now, this is my favorite cleanser of all time. The Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins. This is the only face wash that I use. I used to mix it up, but... It, there is nothing that even comes close to this, so this is just the only one that I use. 10 out of 10. I It can't be topped. It can't be topped. You find something that's better than this, and I'll be proud of you, because it can't be done. Okay, I'm going to save the makeup. Let's finish up with the skincare. So I have two Laneige lip masks. I have the Apple. Is that Apple? Yeah. Apple Lime, and then just like the original one. 
I'm I'm a whore for a lip balm. I love Laneige. I'm currently using the Laneige, just the berry one. Again, I really like just the original one. Uh, Ola Henriksen Strength Trainer. I have repurchased this guy. I love it. I love it. I tried the other Ola Henriksen moisturizer that they just came out with. It's in blue and white packaging. I didn't care for that one. I went back to my strength trainer. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's just like right down the middle. Perfect. I love the way it soaks in. It's just good for my oily skin. Vegan peptide, ceramides, and collagen. Like I need all of those things like injected into my body. Oh, this is sad. My tanologist, ultra dark uh, tanning drops. I use these on my face. You mix them with a moisturizer and it just gives you the perfect little tan. You only need a couple drops. Like these things last forever. I do need to repurchase because I love them. The rice serum. This goes along with the rice toner. They're like the same brand. Probably my number one face serum. I love this thing. I have another one in use. It's almost gone. We're about to be on our third bottle. Is my camera even focusing? Oh my God, I will seriously lose my shit if I watch this back and nothing is in focus. Uh, this is amazing. Dry skin, oily skin. I would recommend this to everyone. It's so silky smooth. It soaks in so well. Oh, I love it. 10 out of 10. The Milk Hydro Grip. Uh, setting spray. I really, really love this setting spray. Is it better than my beloved Professional from Benefit? I don't think so, but it's close. I really like this one. I may repurchase. This one's actually almost empty. It's either between this one or the Charlotte Tilbury one that I'm going to go back to. I haven't decided yet which. Okay, I think we're pretty much on to makeup. Well, there's a few stragglers. My Lumify eye drops. I have another one in action. These make the whites of your eyes like super white. And I need that because I always have red eyes. And I don't know why. Like I don't smoke weed or anything. My eyes are just always red. Uh, the Glossier Rose Balm.com. I have to say I'm not a big fan. I feel like I used to like it. Or maybe I just said I liked it because it was Glossier and it was like the thing to do. I don't feel like it's moisturizing. I just, I don't love it. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry, Glossier. I think you're a good brand, but I don't love that lip balm. But now the Fresh Sugar Baby, we love her. But Fresh has since taken out the SPF. And I think I'm a boycott. Because listen, this was my favorite lip balm for the pool, the beach, the summer in general because it had freaking SPF. I dug it out. Now they got rid of the SPF, so like, you know what? It sets my motor running. Why would you pull out the SPF? Ugh. Elf Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This was decent. It smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm, smells so good. I don't really use a primer, but if I were going to, this was usually my go-to. It's good. It's very tacky, which I like. And then I also have the Jouer Matte Primer. This is good. This one just feels like a lotion, but I feel like it, it helps with priming. Although, I don't know. The older I get, the less I like a primer. I don't know why that is. I mean, I usually just wear a skin tint, so like I really don't need a primer anymore. Oh, we have a lot of mascaras. Okay, we're gonna do a quickie. So we have the It Cosmetics Superhero Waterproof. I wanted to love this, but it was just way too heavy, way too clumpy. Here, I'll show you the wand. Um, this is my kind of wand. Like that wand makes me very excited. But I don't know, she was just a little, a little too heavy for my liking. And then we have my favorite of all time, Bad Gal Bang Waterproof from Benefit. I've been through like five of these. It's so good. It's my favorite. It lifts, it curls, it holds a curl. It does get on my eyelids, but every mascara does. 
it's so far out of probably everything I've ever tried, this is the best. And then the Mile High Club from Wander. Now this one is not waterproof, but I would kind of mix this in with my waterproof, like I would layer it. And I think this is a really good mascara. Again, I love the wand. It's just like a little fat guy. Uh, this is a good one. I, I like it. The Merit Mascara. I don't know, I kind of went back and forth with this one. Like, do I like it? Do I hate it? I don't hate it, but I don't think I love it either. It, it was just kind of down the middle. I don't think you need to spend a lot of money to get a good mascara. Although the Bad Gal Bang is an exception that I would make. Um, Merit had sent me this one. I, I won't repurchase. It wasn't my fave. Worth the Hype from NYX. This is a good one. This one's waterproof. Oh, look at that wand. She's so fat and delicious. This is a great one. I've been through a few of these and it just never disappoints. It curls, it holds, it gives length, volume. It's a good one. We have the P. Louise Eye Base in the shade Rumor. You know, I tried for so long with this for like months I was wearing this. This, no, I don't need it. First off, like I'm not doing like a cut crease or anything wild. I'm swiping on like one eyeshadow and I'm out the door. This made my mascara get everywhere. I don't know why, but when I, whenever I would use this, I would notice that my mascara would smudge way more than normal. But I'm an oily eyelid girl, so it's probably my fault. MAC Modesty. Oh God, this is such a good color. Look at that. Is my lighting, how bad? Scale of one to 10, don't tell me, I don't wanna know. Oh gosh, okay, two more things. Two Lift and Snatch brow pens from NYX in ebony or black, which is it? It's, it's the black shade. Um, I love, I'm on my fourth one. Probably, I use it every day. It is amazing. And then we have my Born This Way, is that what it's called? Yeah, Born This Way Ethereal Light in the shade Pecan. My Everyday Concealer, I have another one. And the number seven Lift and Illuminate. This is a really good drugstore concealer in the shade Light. Very similar vibes. I would say this one's a little bit more coverage but I love the Born This Way. Oh my God, it's just so light. You can pile it on. It never looks heavy. It doesn't crease on me. Like it holds up all day. It is one of my all time favorite concealers. If you have mature skin, like this old bitch does, amazing. I've recommended this to so many people. If you're over the age of like 37, you gotta try her. Okay, that was it. One more thing, Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. It's good if you want a primer. This is the blurring one. There's a couple different ones. I thought it was good, but like I said, I just, I don't need a primer. I just don't need it. Okay. Let's get together everything for recycling. Sometimes I wanna keep these and like refill them with, like what am I refilling it with though? Oh, oh my God. Just think this is the last L'Oreal air dry it wave swept spray that I will ever throw away. Like It's the end of an era. Oh, I almost got rid of my new fix plus. That would be really bad. Nicole. Don't do it. Can this be recycled? Probably not. That was, that was quick and painless. We did good, right? I need a Tums. Oh, another empties. Uh, the Baccarat Rouge 540 Scented Hair Mist. Oh my God. This is so bougie and unnecessary, but it is so good. One day I will buy the actual Baccarat Rouge perfume. It's so, so expensive. Oh, uh, excuse you. 
But until then, I will use the hair mist and the Dossier Ambery Saffron. This stuff is so good. Oh my God. Oh, it smells delectable. Amazing. Oh, I'm so sad to get rid of it. Like, I just want to keep this because it, like, <laughs> it's, it was expensive, okay? My friend Deanna got me onto this. She bought me this one year for my birthday and I was like, oh my God, it's so good. So I repurchased it once. I don't know that I'll repurchase it again, even though I love it so much because it's so pricey and I feel like it it's not a necessity, but man, do I love it. Oh, it's so good. I almost fell. Thank you. I'm going over to Tara's to get my Christmas present. Her Christmas gift is the tattoo. So it'll just be mine tonight. The dogs are gonna attack me. Hey, Peachy. Oh, shit. Hey, get that home. Hey, fat boy. God, so like having a stroke. No. You're not no, getting them. You do, you're not getting your Christmas presents. <laughs> Christmas presents don't come until Christmas. Well, <laughs> this is what she wants. She wants her Christmas toys. You gotta wait till Santa comes and puts them out for you. That's not for you today. Oh, poor bird. You're not She's like, wait, mom, come here. I want to show you something. Oh, Bert. Bert, you're not getting them today. Wait, you look a girl? Because you look like the Grinch. You do. You look like a bad little Grinch. <laughs> Where's Sully? Sully, Coco's leaving. Oh, Coco, we'll see you later. Thank you for my presents. Thank you, Remy, for my presents. Wow. <laughs> look at her face. She does look like the Grinch. Morning. I'm cranky. <laughs> because listen, well, you know what? Let me get dressed because I don't have a bra on and you can like see through the shirt. I'll be back in it. Un momento. What the frick? Dirty bitch. This scuba is going to piss me right the frick off. All right. I, we got to go put some makeup on. This lighting looks weird though without my ring light and my ring light's upstairs and I'm not bringing it down. I haven't had that little Christmas tree plugged in but like two times. <sighs> I should have put it somewhere else. Oh, I gotta get a sponge. Shit. Please hold. <gasps> what I want to know is, how does my scuba already have makeup on it? I just washed it and I haven't worn it. I think I did try it on the other day though. Dumb hell. <sighs> Happy Christmas Eve. I'm a little crank because my Christmas festivities partner has COVID. So like my cookie making partner, my shopping partner, me and Emma always do that stuff together at Christmas. <laughs> I'm so sad. She is feeling better, but oh god, I'm gonna have to do something with this hair. She's still like quarantined, so. 
and I have to go to the grocery store on Christmas Eve. <laughs> also, I ordered Hunter a mug. A mug. A cute mug. It was literally 15 minutes from my house three days ago. Now it's in, let's see where it is today. It is in, oh good, it's in Mississippi. I'm feeling very cunty today. Don't, don't, don't do that. Should we do the Ilya today? Super Serum Skin Tint, SPF 40, ooh. This is my current favorite. This is my current favorite. <laughs> Super Stay Skin Tint from Maybelline. 12 out of 10. 12. This one is in shade Papacolia. Is that Greek? Ew. <laughs> Ooh, it ain't good. Oh, the color, the color is so good. Mm. It smells like ass. Whew. Why does it smell like that? Mm. Oh, this AirPod can come out. I feel like this is too dewy for me. Ah! Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> I look like I put aquaphor all over my face. What? gonna stick with. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at that packaging. Are you kidding me? Huda. Ugh. I don't even bother anymore. Because it seeps right back out within like an hour. So annoying. Was way too much. Oh my god, I feel so greasy. This ain't gonna work. I look like the Christmas turkey. Buttered. We're gonna try though. I'm gonna show you what this stuff looks like when oily skin. We're gonna try. Oily mature skin no less. Cause she old. She old. Sorry, we can't all be 20. <laughs> I remember when I was 20 and I thought like 45 was so old. <laughs> now I'm like, bitch, I'm in my prime. Although, oh, the Botox is really necessary at this age. I don't care what you say. I will never not have it. Like this, this ain't flying. This is really fucking with my mental health. <laughs> a couple forehead wrinkles, like for real though. Like I feel so much better when I have my Botox done. And this is, ugh. I was supposed to go this past week and my appointment got moved. We're gonna powder the hoe down. Ooh. 
are we gonna do with this hair? I'm sad that we're not, ugh, we can't do anything for Christmas because of Emma having COVID. It's gonna be a quiet Christmas. I can't wear this shirt. I'm about to, I'm about to do bad things to everyone I come in contact with if I keep this shirt on, so I'm gonna go change it. I'll be right back. I had to get out of that scuba. I hate it. I feel so greased up. All right, I gotta speed through this cause I gotta get going. Gonna take some Dior, uh, six neutral in my crease. Oh my goodness, why am I so greasy? Well, I know why. Why is that so greasy? Like, I bet if you're dry though, it's really good. It smells like ass though. It smells awful. My battery's about to die. Oh, oh wrong brush. Oh well. We'll stay with it. Do do do. Becca Capri Coast. My favorite. I forgot to self tan. <laughs> in there by my little eardrum thing, like this thing. Oh my God, Nicole. And I'm itching for a new cream blush. This is the Mario Barely Blushing. It's great. I want something new. Like the Dibs Glow Stick. <laughs> I shouldn't be using a cream after I greased my face up. This is pretty much empty. Oh my God. We gonna be oily as heck. Luminous light. As if I need highlighter. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I will return. As much as I said I wasn't gonna do it, I'm out on Christmas Eve. We just have to grab a couple gift cards and a couple stocking stuffers for the kids and then we're done. In and out. I hope. Everybody's probably at Target. That's why there's nobody on the road, so we're all waiting for me at the freaking Target. I love it, I love it, I love it. 
That is so good. I gotta get out of here. I can't be buying shit for myself. you wrapped up like a little baby i'm enjoying christmas eve good you should i'm happy Here, I'll give you a little. There, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. You better cut that out of the video, you dumbass. 